Hey everyone, this is Daniel, and today I'm gonna to talk about Microsoft Forms attachments. I'm gonna talk about two important things. One is, who can and cannot add an attachment? And second, once it saves in your location, what is the breakdown of the folder structure? I mean, in my form, I could have multiple questions and each of them is attachment. Well, then how are those attachments saved? So I'm gonna cover these two important things, but first, here's my intro video. So about the two ways that I talked about, this is exactly what it is. One is there's only two ways it can be done. One is people in your organizations can fill out the form and then people outside. But when it comes to external users, they do not have the option to add an attachment and that's just the way it is. Second thing is these files that are attached, they're actually stored in your personal OneDrive location over there and there is a breakdown of a folder structure. So these were the actually two important things, but now I'm gonna show you how that actually works. So let's jump in and go directly to my Microsoft Forms. So here's my Microsoft Forms, and we'll go ahead and create that over there. But here's also my OneDrive. This is my personal OneDrive for business, and this is what it is. It's in my default location right now. You know, the Power Apps is a folder structure where you start building those templates in Power Apps. They get uh, saved over here. This is how that Power Apps folder created. So kind of keep that in mind because this is going to change in a minute. So let's go to Forms, and I want the Forms. I'm going to go ahead and create a new form, and I'm going to call that as uh, Travel Receipts. The first one I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here and I'm going to click on uh, the drop down and I see file upload. Now it's going to come and say a new folder will be created in SharePoint, blah, 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 blah. And then basically when it says SharePoint, it's actually talking about your OneDrive because you know, OneDrive sits on top of SharePoint. So I'm going to click on the OK over there. And the question one is just going to be hotel. I'll go ahead and do um, you know the next one and I'll do another file upload. And this time it didn't tell you the same thing again and again. Like in a SharePoint is going to be added. It's going to be added to SharePoint. It only shows you that once over there. And then the other ones I'm going to say is uh, lunch and dinner. All right? See, I'll leave those defaults as is. I come back over here. And our next one I'm going to say, um, let's just say for file upload, I'm going to say uh, instead of question three, I'm going to say um, just the uh, mileage. All right? What? Well, so I've done that. And now, what happened is when you are creating a form by default, if you go into the settings, this is what happens. That only people in my uh, in my organization can respond. That's like the default radio control. So you've already gone ahead and added attachments now. And because you've done that, you cannot go ahead and change this form to this option. Because see, anyone can respond. Normally, you can do that. But in this case, because you've added attachments, you can't go ahead and change this. So in the other scenario, if I were to go ahead and now say I can come over here and I'm building another form, all right? Now, because there is, in fact, let's just say, you know, uh, name, full name. I've already added this one question over here, but because there is no attachment, I have the flexibility to come to settings and now I can change this. You see, because the attachment is not there. But if I were to go ahead and now add another attachment over here, like I, like I said, see, and the first time it just shows up, if I leave that as is, go back to settings, it gets grayed out over there, which kind of makes sense. So I'm gonna go ahead and close that over here. Let's come back to this form. And um, this is what it is. Now, we went ahead and created the attachments and the forms and everything. So let's go and see what change happened in your OneDrive. So when I come to OneDrive, aha, a apps folder was created. Hmm, because I was really expecting a Microsoft form. So what is this apps? So when I click on, my, uh, click on the apps folder, aha, inside that is Microsoft Forms. So I kind of like this folder structure that they've already created because they've given the flexibility that, hey, there might be other multiple apps and I'm gonna create a general folder called apps and then and that apps is gonna be Microsoft Forms. But I wonder what's inside Microsoft Forms. Well, let's go take a look. So I click on Microsoft Forms and now there's actually two. So the travel receipts one was the one that I just created, but it also went ahead and uh, did the full name one because remember the full name one, I went ahead and you know changed it to the uh, attachment later on. So bottom line is, if there is an attachment in your form, it's gonna create a folder, and the folder name is gonna be the exact same name as your form. So over here, it's called Travel Receipts. Come back over here, it's called Travel Receipts. Now, just the way I'm thinking about it, I would probably have three subfolders in here. It's gonna be hotel, lunch and dinner, and mileage. At least that's what I think, right? Because that's what, it had the app name, maybe in the inside it should have the three subfolders and it should also have each of the folders would be hotel lunch and mileage basically the same name over here well let's take a look <clears throat> it did not in fact it just put that as question question one and question two so 
that is basically how the design structure is of power uh, of the uh, Microsoft forms right now. It doesn't put the whole question over here. It just puts question, question one, and question two. Now, I do support this idea because let's think about it. What if you put a very long question? Well, that's going to be a very long name for that folder. So I, I completely get it. I mean, on the hindsight, hindsight's always twenty twenty. I get it. It went ahead and put that in over here. And it's just question, question one, question two. So I kind of understand. But I want you to already know this ahead of time is that um, in your OneDrive for Business, there's something, a new form created called apps. Inside apps, there's forms. Then each of the forms will have folders name on that. But it doesn't go in the same fashion. It's just question, question one, and question two over there. Now, I want to end by saying that you do have options to relocate the files because right now it's in OneDrive and you have options to relocate them to say a SharePoint. But there's a little bit of work involved in that. First of all, the best way to do it is Power Automate because it has already templates available over there. But depending on how many attachments you have, how many questions per attachments, how many attachments you allow per question, that flow can get a little bit tricky over there. So that's why I haven't added it to this video. But I do want to let, let you know that that flexibility is there. And if you actually go to the Power Automate uh, user community, and if you just search for that, you'll actually find some answers over there. But I'll save that for another day. So hopefully this was helpful. And as always, keep using Microsoft Forms.